thanks to the lovely people at Screenwave Media, I have a video about a somewhat obscure rhythm game, Taiko no Tachujin. In fact, this is the first time in 14 years this series came to the West, all the way back in 2004 as Taiko Drum Master. But nevertheless, since I got the code for the PS4 version, I thought reviewing it would be kind of vanilla, so let's do something a bit more interesting and compare it with the Switch version. So here we go, we have Taiko no Tatsujin Drum Session versus Taiko no Tatsujin Drum and Fun, which I'm going to refer to as PS4 and Switch respectively from now on. Both games have similar gameplay, hitting notes as they fly off the screen while hitting the corresponding button. It can even be done with a cool drum peripheral, but I am lame so I'm using a controller. There are two main categories I wanted to touch upon, songs and features, because honestly both games look identical so there's no point comparing graphics. There's the song, since, well, it's a rhythm game. Both games have a variety of music types, consisting of J-pop, classical, Namco originals, some game music, and of course my personal favorite, anime, because I'm a weep. As much as I'm drenched in Japanese music culture, I admit the majority of people would feel rather unfamiliar. At the end of the day, when it comes to choosing which version has the better songs, it's best to check each version's set list and pick a favorite. Admittedly, the PS4 version seems to have a lot more songs available, both on its basic set list and DLC, but the Switch version does have one major ace in its hole. Only the Switch version features Nintendo music, such as Jump Up Superstar from Mario Odyssey, a Splatoon medley, and there's even a Kirby medley, that's pretty cool. But there are also some interesting differences between the track list. For example, the Switch version has the first Dragon Ball Super opening as DLC, whereas the PS4 version has the second opening as part of the basic set list. I will probably give the edge to the PS4 version overall, because at least the way it handles DLC is much easier. For example, the song Winding Road from Man With A Mission is available on the PS4 to buy by itself. If I want it, I buy it. On the Switch version, however, it's part of a J-pop pack. Means I need to pay more money, but at least get more songs. Well, what if I don't want to pay extra? Why are there songs that are available by themselves and some that are not? I would say if you're more of a connoisseur of Japanese music, the PS4 is probably the better option, but not by a whole lot. That being said, let's move over to the features of both games. The PS4 is as arcade as it can be, as the main mode of it is Taiko mode. The goal is to play a song over and over and get the best score possible. There are bingo cards that can fill up depending on goals accomplished, such as hit a certain note combo. The Switch version has nothing of the sort in its Taiko mode. Once a song is completed, that is pretty much about it. Especially since every line of bingo grants a pseudo loot box containing a cosmetic item. Those can be used to customize your Dawn avatar and little drum guy, or even your online title. Ooh, as you can see, I love loser. Whatever that means. Combine that with an online battle mode and yeah, the PS4 version is definitely aimed more at hardcore rhythm gamers. That doesn't mean, however, that the Switch version is a slouch. Each week there is a different set list and players must beat others with the songs available. But that is something that can also be done on the PS4, so let's talk about the real versus mode here, Don Katsu Fight. And oh my god, this is exactly what every rhythm game should have. Each player has a life bar, and in order to inflict an attack on the opposite player, the bar must reach 100%. There are also items that pop up randomly across the timeline. If a player hits the note at the right time, an effect would interfere with their opponent, like random characters obscuring the view. This mode is extremely quirky but incredibly fun, and it's perfect for the casual spirit the Switch version offers. There are also numerous rhythm games that can be played upwards to four players, hitting a baseball on the right cue or playing beach ball. While they are simplistic, they are incredibly fun, especially when there are multiple people involved. I don't think the mini games are the primary reason to purchasing the game, but I do think they add a lot more to make it a complete package. That being said, 
I do think that feature-wise, the Switch version trumps the PS4 hands down. They're just more gameplay modes, especially for local multiplayer. So look at both versions, which one is superior? They both look the same, have a steady frame rate, and identical gameplay. Heck, even their set lists are mostly one to one. I would say if you want to get high scores and you like to show it off to people, get the PS4 version. It's definitely more of a hardcore game. But other than that, honestly, I'd recommend the Switch version more. Maybe it has a little less anime songs, which is unfortunate to someone like myself, but the extra modes are great, and the more casual approach makes it perfect for newcomers. And trust me, those games are hard. So the easier it is to get over the learning curve, the better. Plus, it has a song by Flo, so that is a win. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until the next time, take care. Oh,